Yo, welcome back everybody to Doki Doki, a day with Monica. Last episode, Terry spied on us, uh, Monica confessed her love, and now we are watching a movie with her. Uh, yeah, let's jump into the video because there's nothing really else. About halfway through the movie and honestly, it hasn't been that scary. You always know when you expect a certain jump scare or when something creepy is about to happen. It sucks, but I guess it's how horror movies get their monies these days. Meanwhile, I haven't heard a peep out of Monica since the movie started. Either she's too scared to talk to me or she's falling asleep. I look down at her. Her eyes are completely shut. Her breaths are slow. Great. Woman has fallen asleep on me. Not just any woman. Monica. It has been a long day of walking to be to be fair, I don't blame her. I look over my window to see the sun is fully set and the moon rising up. I switch the lights off and decide that it's probably best I get some rest too. I have Monica down right side of my bed while I lay down on the left side. That's wholesome. I show up my eyes and attempt to sleep. No longer afterwards, I feel tiredness overcoming, and I fall asleep. Oh. We're just jumping into the new day? Alright. <laughs> You're so funny. I'm not that funny, trust me. You are. You're one of the funniest people I've ever met. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. The music is muffled. You guys can't hear that. Hold up. What are you writing? A thing. Oh. The worst time I could have. Of course, okay. I'm not allowed to tell you what it is, though. Why? It's a secret. I see. Well, it must be a good secret from you hiding it from me. <laughs> You'll like it. I've been working on it for a while. This has to be a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Nightmare. Sari? Yeah? Are you okay? I'm fine. Why do you ask? I'm just worried about you. The way you've been acting recently. I'm just trying to look out for you, you know? You shouldn't have to worry about me. I'm fine. Are you sure? You know, if there's something up, you can tell me. I'm your friend. I'm fine, Storm, I promise. That face is... Mmm. About the part of it now, so you don't have to worry. A part of what? You know what? It only happened yesterday. How could you forget? Sari, I'm confused. You really don't remember? The third eye. We're all part of it now. Why can't you remember that? I... I don't know. You need to remember. We are the third eye. What? I'm not a part of this anymore. I don't want this to hurt her. Uh... Are you sure you want me to make the decision? Wait, who's talking? You just messed up. She wouldn't have done any of that. She's sweet and kind girl. Huh? If you really think that, then I could show you that you're wrong. I can show you that you're horribly wrong. Monica. Sweetheart, hey. I don't like this music, though. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for a storm. I mean, especially after exchanging with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? I kind of left her hanging. 
left her hanging. <laughs> hanging. Hanging. Sarah? Kinda left her hanging this morning. Oh. Is that enough? You know what she did was bad. You shouldn't have let murders get away. She'll die eventually. At least you make quick of her. Um. Uh. I'm sat on my bed staring into space. I know what I gotta do. But I'm scared to do it. This is what it's all led up to. I started this. I need to finish it. I look over to, s to a sleepy Monica. Her eyes shut. And her breaths are slow. She looks like she's in a deep sleep. There's 20 minutes left until the clock reaches midnight. Plenty of time. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Looks like I let the kitchen light on. My bad. Not that it will matter anyways. Time is nearly up. I grab a sharp knife from the drawer and bring it upstairs. Monica? Closing the door behind me, I look over to Monica. Still fast asleep. 18 minutes till midnight. I can feel something holding me back from doing this. Is this the right thing to do, right? The third eye said it itself. Can't let murders get away. But what if it was all a lie? No. This is the right thing to do. 17 minutes. 16 minutes. The clock continues to tick down. Time's running out. I need to do this now. I can't keep holding myself back like this. Just get it done. I stand over her, knife pointing down at her neck. Come on, just do it. She deserves this. Come on. I press the knife slowly to her neck. I, I can't. I can't. I throw the knife across the room with anger. Luckily, it doesn't make too much noise. I sit down beside the bed. Why is this so goddamn hard? I'm trying to protect my friends. This is the right thing to do. I pick up the knife again. Standing over her, I close my eyes. Three, two, one. No. This isn't right. She may have done these horrible things, but she's apologized. She understood what she's done wrong. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Is this a decision you're making? You're going to let her go? I know you're here. Might as well speak up now. Uh, what's your plan, Monica? To delete me? Good luck with that. I'm too powerful for that. I control this game now. I'm sorry. I truly am. I get what I did was selfish. It's all my fault. But you gotta understand that I'm sorry. But you aren't. I know you aren't. You're lying. You have to trust me. I can make things go back to normal. Nothing you can do or change what you did in the past. It's over. Accept it. 
you're scared. You don't know what to do because you're scared. You're afraid to say anything. You're afraid to do anything. You're afraid your secret will be exposed to the world. You're afraid your stupid little useless life will end right here. You're right. I'm scared. I'm afraid of my secret being exposed to the rest of them. I'm afraid that my life will end now. You'll never let it go, I know that. you never forgive me, I know that too. But at least give me one more chance to show you that I'm not that person anymore. And give me one more chance to show you that I've changed. No. You had your chances. Monica? No, 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 no. Can you hear that, Monica? The voices. They're calling your stupid little name. Hell is a real place, Monica. And this is where we are right now. The demons are calling. We are the third eye. Give yourself to us. You'll pay for what you did. They are thirsty. They are hungry. Give yourself to them. Give- Stop! You win. You win. Oh! She deleted the game! Truly sorry for this storm. You should not have been brought into this for the first place. I need you to make me a promise. Cross me, you'll never tell anyone about these events. Please do that for me. I guess in your reality, if I don't know how to love you, I'll leave you be. No, 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 wait, wait, no, no, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Okay, I don't know what's up with this. This is annoying. This is going to be here for the whole month, but wow. That was a good mod. I really enjoyed that. Uh, I don't know what mod to play next. Tell me in the comments what mod to play next. I'm trying to get back into DDLC and stuff since the new DDLC Plus is coming out, so. You completed a date with Monica. Dev note has been unlocked. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Oh, and he closed the game. Well, see you guys.